Can we hear it start up? Sure can. So it's a one piece tilt front end now. It's a 66 Fairlane. This is my office right here. Hi, Randy Bybee, Awesome Cars Forever. I'm here today with Steve and his son Jackson. They're going to tell us about this beautiful 1978 Corvette. Thank you very much for coming out and taking a look at it. Um, this Corvette's unusual uh, because uh, it's a survivor. Um, we've had this car. We've only, we've only owned this car um, about about two years. Um, the original owner of the car. Uh, it was it, this this car came from the south side of Indianapolis. And uh, the original owner bought the car uh, for, for, for he and his wife to travel to uh, go to the movies every Sunday. And uh, so for the first 30 years, 25, 30 years of its life, that's all it did. Uh, it traveled wow. back and forth from the, the movie theater on Sundays. Uh, he, he would drive it there. He'd back it into his driveway or back into his garage. He would clean it up and he'd put it away. And they wouldn't drive it again until the following Sunday. And so this car, um, as it sits here today, has uh, fewer than 36,000 miles. It has like 35,000 some odd miles on it. Wow. Um, and that's, um, I've got all the history on it. Um, the title states uh, those miles, of course. Um, it has the original powertrain in it. Um, it's a completely unmolested car. Um, so it's got the, the original motor, uh, original transmission, has the original exhaust on it. Um, this is actually the second set of tires that's been put on it. Um, the gentleman, the original gentleman that purchased the car, um, he then sold it to another gentleman um, also on the south side of uh, Indianapolis who worked at a dealership. And so for the next handful of years, 10 uh, years or so, it sat on the floor and the front window of the dealership just to draw buyers into yeah. the shop. And I'll so, bet it worked too. I'm sure it did. And uh, so it then, of course, didn't uh, bring on any miles either because it just sat there on the dealership floor. So I was told when I bought the car um, that I could count pretty much on one hand the number of oil changes that it had uh, considering the amount of miles that it had. Mm -hmm. um, the, as far as the uh, engine goes, the only changes that I'm aware of, and this comes from the original owner, is um, we've, we've done a battery and we've done an alternator and we've done um, um, a fan belt and those are really the three enhancements <laughs> repairs that have been made to the car uh, since since uh, it was brand new and rolled off the line um, it has a few little bumps and bruises around it from where he backed it into the garage as he was backing it into some nights after going to the theater um, it's the original paint you know it's got the patina uh, on the paint from where it it has it's either set outside a little bit uh, or sat in his garage, uh, but it is the original paint. Um, there has been no major modifications to this car. Uh, when he originally bought it, he didn't really spare much as in, in, in way of expense. Um, he uh, he was the guy that decided that he needed uh, the I think it was three hundred and fifty or four hundred dollars. I could be wrong on that, but it was a large number back in '78 that he had to have a CB radio. And uh, the CB radio still is in the car. It still works today. Wow. Um, and that was, that was only set aside for the wealthiest of Corvette owners <laughs> yeah, at that huh? point. Um, <coughs> aside from that, um, as you can see, the interior is, in, is pretty much in mint condition. Um, no rips, no tears. It shows a little bit of wear as you get in the driver's side there. But uh, aside from that, uh, it's in great shape. 
the uh, original carpet is uh, is starting to show its age. It's starting to get a little dry. Um, no cracks uh, in the dash. Um, the the AM FM radio still works. Um, all the gauges still function. Um, one thing on these cars uh, was a real popular um, um, piece that would normally break, which was the the, the hideaway headlights. Uh, the high, I'm proud to say the hideaway headlights still work. Right. Um, that certainly wasn't the case for many. Uh, the latch is right on the back in the middle of the seat. I All right, we'll, we'll take a look at it when we get in the trunk. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, well, of course, in this car there wasn't a trunk, right? So well, there's, well, yeah. There's no way to raise that, so, but... Um, all those latches, the one thing they did have was lots of compartments back here to store all your stuff. So the original mats are still in the car. All those little compartments are dry and clean and uh, can hold all your goodies. Um, but it is, a, it is truly a survivor from, uh, from 78. And that's what, uh, that's what drew us to the car. Um, the history, the story, um, so we could uh, continue to um, uh, give this car love and, and a home and, and uh, enjoy it uh, until the, the next generation here <coughs> gets to enjoy it. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's looking forward to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep, he gets to he gets to drive it a little bit uh, from the garage to the barn, from the barn to the garage. Um, so he, he's still got a couple years before he gets his driver's license, but, uh, but he is definitely itching to take this car out. There's no question about that. So let's, uh, let's have a look under the hood. Yeah, sure. Original 350 came with air conditioning. It currently isn't charged, but uh, it, it still has everything for it. We come around on the other side too. As I understand it, the valve cover gaskets have never been changed. Um, short of the air cleaner, there's really been nothing major done to this vehicle. The motor's never been taken apart. Um, as I stated, I think the, the biggest uh, lift, uh, the biggest uh, enhancement, the biggest change of this car has only been the alternator, um, as far as a major change goes, and if you want to consider that a major change. <laughs> the PCV valve I changed. We did an oil change on it, um, but uh, otherwise it's just completely all original survival. This is, uh, as you pointed out, this is an unmolested car. I mean, it's it's in great shape. Yep. <coughs> Let's go ahead and start it up. Sure. under here it sounds pretty good out back smooth all original cloth all original mufflers the original stock manifold just the way we sort out of the engine. I've always liked those wheels too. Yeah, me too. So. Really set off the black on black interior with a little bit of chrome or silver. They did a really nice job on these cars. Well Steve, I want to thank you and Jackson for being on the show today. I, this, this is a thrill. It's uh, got a lot of originality to it, so. Absolutely. But uh, I want to thank all my subscribers, and I hope if you haven't subscribed, you will subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Awesome Cars Forever. Thanks.